Hey guys, in today's video we will be creating the iconic Linux Penguin, the Tux, using the tools that made these two amazing videos possible. So the first one is the three blue, one brown famous video about drawing with for you circles. And the second one is the animated Julia logo. But there are many more videos like this out there on YouTube. To draw the tux, we are going to use the Julia programming language and javis.jl, the animation engine written in Julia. Javis is powered by FFTW, the fastest Fourier transform software in the West. I just love the name. This is the library in C for computing discrete Fourier transforms. But before I show you the animation, let me tell you a short story with how I came up with the idea. So this week is the first week in my PhD program. And I'm taking a class, which is mathematical physics at the graduate level. And believe it or not, in the very first lecture, what we did for half of the lecture is watching a video from the Three Blue One Brown channel on complex analysis, which greatly helped to introduce us to some of the ideas. But that's not the important part. The important part is that it brought back some memories. Watching this video actually reminded me of something. About two years ago, I was really into watching most of his videos and, and just admiring how beautiful those animations were, how smooth and really pleasing to the eye. Not to mention that the pedagogical value of these videos is just unparalleled. So all of that really inspired me to try and making my own videos, maybe related to physics, maybe related to math. I didn't know yet, but I really wanted to try to make at least simple animations like that. However, after looking into this, I found it to be quite intimidating. The Menim animation engine written in Python and developed by Grant Sanderson was, or at least at that time, it seemed quite complicated. And I decided to drop the idea and come back to it maybe at a later time. And a few days ago, I felt like it's time. And of course, the idea of drawing the penguin somehow popped in my mind because I thought it would be just really fun to try to combine a few topics that I try to talk about on my channel, uh, be it Julia programming language, um, some Linux stuff. I tried to make something entertaining, something that helped me to get back to that idea of mine back from two years ago. And I think I succeeded. I decided to try and use Julia for these simulations because I'm very much more familiar with Julia than I am with Python. And also some time ago, I watched some of the videos back from 2021 Julia conference. Uh, it's an international conference of all the Julia enthusiasts and um, users where two amazing people who developed the Javis animation engine for Julia in the spirit of the Manim animation engine from Python. So they presented their work at that conference and it gave me the impression that this animation engine might be just a little bit easier to understand and try to do something useful with it. So I gave it a go and chose this for this project. So here's the tux, entirely drawn and animated using Fourier transformations and the traveling salesman problem to optimize the path. Pretty cool, right? As you can see, I still need to figure out how to smooth out the lines because if you look at the penguin, it seems a little fuzzy, almost as if it's a baby penguin. Also in this animation, unlike in many other videos using the similar techniques where they draw the whole shape with complicated lines in one go as a single path, I did something different here. I separated each body part into a single shape and made it an object. So basically each body part is being drawn separately and then layered on top of each other. Um, the only thing is they all are being drawn at the same time. And so all the jungle of the four U circles, um, I think interferes a little bit with the image, even though at the end it fades out. But I really hope to be able to find a way to layer individual objects sequentially so that the next one will be drawn only after the first one finishes and not at the same time. But I still have to figure out how to do that. I believe that approach might be a little bit more pleasing to the eye visually. Also, I tried to make something different in my animations where I tried to fill in each body part with color, which would gradually appear 
until it's finally in full opacity after the drawing is complete. Uh, I haven't seen that before, so I really hope that this will showcase some of the other awesome options in the Javis animation engine besides just drawing the outlines. Adding shadows and subtle glow to certain areas will certainly improve the final result, but I still have to figure out how to do that. Nevertheless, I still consider this a success. It's a good start. Now, if you're curious about the code behind this animation, I can certainly share it in one of the future videos where I will walk you step by step through each part of the code and try to explain it to the best of my understanding at the moment, because I'm also learning still. I'm not an expert, but I was still really happy that I was able to put this animation together even without understanding a lot of finer details uh, here and there. And here's the animation once again to remind you of what we've done. So basically we've turned a simple black and white image of the penguin into a beautiful animation like this using the power of Julia and some clever mathematics. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a like and let me know in the comments what other animations you would like to see and if you would like a detailed tutorial on the code behind this particular animation. Thanks guys, and I see you next time.